What is going on, snack stackers? Small stack bullion back at you again with another video, and today we'll be talking not much about bullion, but about coins and money systems, right? So we will be talking about how free decimal currency worked. <clears throat> now, free decimal currency, to anybody who doesn't know, was the money used bef used in the United Kingdom and other British Empire countries um, up until about 1970 or 1971, I believe, in some other places. Um, and instead of being base 10, which like it is now, everything's done in 10s, it was base 12, I believe. So everything was done in 12. So there was 12p into one shilling. For some reason it was 20p, 20 shillings into a pound and it got, it was very confusing. But I suppose after a while of you using it, you'd probably be less confused. But I'm here to explain to you how it worked. So let's jump right in. We'll start off with the smallest denomination that was used after the war, which was the farthing. Now the farthing is a quarter of a penny. So this little coin equaled one fourth of a penny. So we'll pop that down here. And I've drawn little numbers. So we got a four. Four of those equals. Okay, here, let me grab it. One of a penny. If that'll focus. One whole old penny. But two of them. If we can get the two. Two of these also equaled a half penny or a halfpenny. So it would go both ways. Um, and then 960 of a far of 960 farthings made a whole pound. Now I don't have a pound note or a pound or a full sovereign to show you, so I will just use a half sovereign to do a pound. So it equals that. So yeah, it, it's divisible by that, it goes both ways. So let's move on to the next coin. Um, next one up is the half penny. Now one half penny, uh, no, one half penny was equal to two, uh, two half pennies went in, sorry, two half pennies went into one whole penny. <clears throat> um, where is the 24? 24 half pennies uh, went into a shilling, which looked like that. So that goes there. 480 half pennies went into a pound. Um, and it goes both ways, like as such. Um, everything was, and everything by the sounds of things from when I asked my grandma about this type of thing, everything was worth more. So you could buy a lot more for a farthing or a half penny. Um, let's take that away. Um, what are we doing next? Of course, the whole penny. Now, 240 whole pennies went into a pound, right? <clears throat> it's going to be a long video for you guys. A little treat, midweek treat. Um, uh, where is the number three? We don't have a number three. We didn't put, print out number three. Uh, but three whole pennies went into a threepence, which can look like that or like that. Um, Twelve pennies went into, where's the shilling gone? There's the shilling, went into a shilling. So it goes both ways. And I suppose six of them went into a sixpence, which looks like that. There we are. Um, let's take them away. So we're done with the pennies. So we can put the coppers to a side. 
you can pop them down there. Right, next thing up is the threepence, or the threepence, three pennies, which as you just saw, my damn phone doesn't want to focus. Uh, which looks like these, so it can be either in this form, in a brass big, big form, or a silver form. Um, once upon a time was made out of sterling silver before 1920 and then half silver up until 1947. So for the sake of it, we'll, as I've got more of them, we use these, which was the old silver threepence. <clears throat> so four silver threepence went into a whole shilling. Two threepence went into a sixpence. Uh, ooh, crikey. I think 120 went into a whole pound. No, sorry. Just fact check that. Uh, 80 of them went into a whole pound. Just remember that. 80, 80 of these, oh, blimmin' dropped it, went into a whole pound. So let's bring them away. <clears throat> now, next one is the sixpence. Looks like, ooh, looks like that. Now, but if you think about it, if it's half the va if it's double the value, it would be half. So half of how many it needed. So it will require 40 sixpences to go into pound. Uh, two sixpences went into a shilling. And it worked as such. We'll pop them away. Next coin up is the shilling. <clears throat> now 20, if I, where's, where did I put my 20? My 20 is here. 20, sh 20 shillings went into a whole pound, but there was also, and uh, now, this is where it gets starting to get a little bit complicated. Two shillings went into a florin, or a two shilling coin. So if we get me, actually I've got two shillings that I can show you. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. Two shillings equals to that. Right there, two shillings equals to that, which is, Good, and then if we bring out the half crown, uh, we'll pop that up there. Bring out the half crown, two and sixpence went into a half crown. So that only deduces that a whole crown, which looked like that, I've got the Churchill one, made five shillings. Well, I don't have five shillings, but I have got a printed number five, which I'll, which I'll put up like that. And a printed number two, like that. So uh, 20, in, 20 shillings to a pound, two shillings to a florin, and five shillings to a crown. There we are, let's bring them away. Now, of course, the next one up is a florin, or a two shilling coin. Now, 10 of those, I've got a 10, yes I have. Do I have 10 florins? No, I don't have 10 florins, that's a shame. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. Just imagine two more there went into a pound as such. Um, so that would make, ooh crikey. I would need an uh, for a half crown. As such, I would need an extra. I would need an extra sixpence to make a half crown, and I would need another florin and a shilling to make a full crown. As such, uh, yeah. And now we move on to the next coin, which is. The half crown, which looks like that. <clears throat> now, two half crowns 
the kind of explanatory, went into a whole crown. Like that. Um, I haven't done my maths. Uh, let me just check that for you. That is also abbreviated two and sixpence, and it goes into eight. Eight of these, eight half crowns, go into a pound, as such. Now, this could, this works either way, as I've said. Um, and it is a very nice coin. But it's all, like like uh, every, everybody keeps saying, pre-decimal is very confusing. It is until you learn it, and then it becomes not confusing. Or unconfusing, if you're using silly words. Next up, we've got a crown. So, this is a half sovereign which means it was had the denomination of half a pound. Um, but I've been using it as a pound. So this, so I don't, have an, I don't have another crown. So two of these, as this was a five shilling piece, went into a half crown. It went into a half sovereign. And four of these went into a full sovereign or a pound. So four crowns to a pound. Kind of rhymes, four crowns to a pound. Um, so yes, we'll take that away. Um, yeah, and then you've got the pound, which was 240 pence, 20 shillings, or four crowns. Confusing, right? Well, yes, that's what people thought. Um, and that's why we got rid of the uh, the pre-decimal currency, and we moved on to pounds and pence and ditched the shilling. So that's why we have a very nice and easy currency system nowadays. Um, it all happened on, I think it was the, yes, 1970, I believe it was, um, and all these, all of these coins became completely and utterly obsolete, so you couldn't use them anymore, which was a bit wasteful. But I don't have a 2p coin to show you. The half penny is the same diameter as a 2p. The, f the farthing is the same diameter as a 1p. <coughs> The, sh the shilling is the same diameter as an old 5p, because the old 5p's used to be bigger. And a florin used to be the same diameter as a old 10p, because they used to be bigger. I'm just setting everything up now, look at me. Where's my threepence? Yes, and they always had silly words for them, like threepence or halfpenny. For a half penny and a farthing. I don't think many people would know what a farthing was, and unless it hit, if it hit them, even if it hit them in the face. So there we are. There's your pre-decimal currency explained. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below uh, if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.